there are players who change the game, like Jacques Plante with his mask, and Stan Makita and Bobby Hull with their banana blades, and Bobby Orr with his skating. Then there are players who literally change the arena, like Terry Harper and Bob Pulford did 53 years ago at Maple Leaf Gardens. In his home office, Harper has a small statue with the inscription, the battle that divided the penalty box. It could read, the stink that changed the rick. Pulford and Harper hardly seem like groundbreakers. Pulford was a Leafs forward who parlayed dependable checking, four 20-goal seasons, and four Stanley Cups into a Hall of Fame induction. A backhand, he scored! Bob Pulford coming through with the winning goal. Harper, a cup winner in Montreal, was a prototypical stay-at-home defenseman with a shot so unhurried it would stop for a smoke and a cup of coffee on its way to the net. A Harper hat trick wasn't three goals in a game, but three in a season. Harper was not an infrequent fighter, but Pulford never fought to excess. Except on the night of October 30th, 1963. The ill will started behind the net when Harper high-sticked Pulford. After a brief scuffle, matters cooled until the combatants resumed jousting near the Canadiens bench. They dropped their gloves and Pulford proceeded to drop Harper with a right hand. Eventually, they were escorted across the ice to the penalty box, which, in the NHL of 1963, was a shared space. The only neutral parties were doorkeepers, often retirees who would never be mistaken for, say, nightclub bouncers. The attendants generally sat next to the penalized players, not between them. Harper will not reveal precisely what was said as they settled in the box, but admits words were exchanged. Pulford leaped up and attacked Harper, all under the gimlet glare of a national midweek audience on CTV, and NHL President Clarence Campbell, whose seat at the gardens was adjacent to the penalty box. The startling thing was not that Harper and Pulford had brawled in the penalty box, but that something like this didn't happen regularly. Toronto President Stafford Smythe conceded, it's ridiculous to ask two guys who've been trying to knock each other's heads off to sit quietly side by side. On November 8th, 10 days after the stink that changed the rink, the reconfigured gardens unveiled the NHL's first separate penalty boxes. The Montreal Forum quickly followed. And for the 1965-66 season, the NHL, a stride behind the play, decreed, quote, it would be preferable if there were separate penalty benches for each team. Harper is 76. He and his wife live in California, in Folsom, a town with a formidable sin bin of its own, if you know your Johnny Cash. Harper still plays hockey, and he laughs easily when recounting the night he and Pulford changed the rink, a cheerful reminder that sometimes you shouldn't think outside the box as much as you should think about the box.